Up next we have Alex, the fight that many of the people in attendance are here to see. Uh, yeah, you're going to see the roof blow off this place when Isaiah Ferguson walks out. Getting ready to start the pro portion, huh? Is that yeah. what we got now? That's yes, right. Sir. Yep. We have a 135-pound pro matchup between Justin King, who wrestled for a couple years for Indiana University, against Isaiah Ferguson of Global Combat Academy. I think both of these guys have been around for an awful long time, isn't it? Certainly. So I've trained with Justin many times. He's been around for an awful long time. Like you said, primarily, obviously, a, a wrestling background. Likes to get the fight to the ground. Training with Pat McPherson for many years, though he has been doing lots of stand-up, obviously. So. so what is that Division I wrestling like? How, if we're going to try to put into words for our viewers at home that maybe have wrestled a year or two, what would you say it's like? Okay, so you know when you go to the state tournament in wrestling and um, the first few rounds, there's really tough wrestlers, and then the very finals is like the best of the best? Right. 90% of those guys have no business wrestling in, in D1, Absolutely. Big Ten wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> so those guys who are four-time state champs, a lot of times don't make it onto a Big Ten wrestling program. So that's how tough it really is at Big Ten wrestling. Yeah, so is it fair to say the top 1% wrestling in Big Ten Conference? And we're lucky enough to have one of those guys here tonight. Yeah, and, and, and the funny thing is not it doesn't always translate over in, into fighting, but a lot of aspects of it does. The work ethic and, and the mentality, and, and sometimes it does translate over. It, it, but, you know, it's just different when you do throw punches and kicks. It changes everything. But Yeah, it's, it's much different wrestling in a... You know, a, a circle with lines on it versus trying to get takedowns on a cage. But, you know, both of these guys fighting here tonight, Isaiah Ferguson and Justin King, are no slouch. They, they're well experienced in this. We want to give a shout out to Jetty in Florida is watching tonight. We appreciate the support. We appreciate you tuning in. Isaiah Ferguson, we said many of the people in attendance came to see Isaiah Ferguson. Oh yeah, you can tell the, the, the crowd is really behind uh, behind uh, Isaiah Ferguson right now. Listen to that. People are going nuts for him. Yeah, I'd be interested to know the number of tickets that Isaiah Ferguson has sold. This is a professional fight. Isaiah was our headline fight for HR MMA 100, 4th Street Live. Good to not hear any boos. A lot of sure. Yeah, we. A lot of times you get boos when you get this many people from the home crowd. Yeah. The, it, all the Ferguson fans have been watching these guys fight for the better part of 15 years. So they're, they're all experienced fans. They know to respect everybody. This might as well be the main event. Oh, for sure. Listen to this crowd. I want to give a shout out to Hank and Jen. It's their anniversary. They're watching from Michigan. We will be a uh, B2 fight series. We'll be heading into Michigan here soon. Is there anywhere B2 is not going? Uh, not that I've heard of yet. Nothing's <laughs> off the table. We'll see. Antarctica. That's about it. Oh yeah, definitely don't want to. If so, I'm not going. <laughs> This is a rare fight for Isaiah Ferguson where he actually is the taller fighter. <laughs> uh, it's true. You know, that, that's got to impact his approach in a way. Yeah, Isaiah coming out right now, and he's sticking that jab, and he's fainting that kick, and Justin King's not really reacting. We'll see if Isaiah decides to throw that kick here soon. 
like to like to point out the difference in these fights as between all the amateur fights. They got five minutes now. They're starting at a much slower pace where they're trying to figure out what the other guy's doing, capitalize on that after they see what this guy does. Yeah, and the amateurs, you get guys that maybe don't train all that much and want to come out here and prove they have the heart to do it. These two guys right here, it's their career. Wow, wow. I wasn't sure if that was a slip or not. Did it? Was it a drop? Didn't look like it hit him flush, but it looked like it might have been a pretty powerful hit that kind of knocked him off balance, but I don't think it really hit flush. It may have hit him flush, it may not have, but he appears to have plenty of energy to be kicking this fight against the cage. Does Isaiah Ferguson. And he's going for the takedown versus a Big Ten wrestler. Yeah, good on him for taking that challenge, and we'll see if he can get it. Isaiah Ferguson's jiu-jitsu is very high level. Yeah, Isaiah's a black belt. He's uh, another farm boy. So he's got the technique, he's got the strength. He's doing a great job of holding Justin on the cage here so far. In the corner of Isaiah, you see his brothers, BJ Good and, right jo hand and Josh. Good left hand landed by Isaiah on the break there. Yeah, he's a tricky fighter. He finds ways to sneak him in. Justin King's corner calling. Let those kicks go. Good counter left hand. Yeah, he's trying to slip it in right over the top there of the jab of Isaiah. We got Southpaw versus Southpaw here. I'd like to see Justin throw a little bit more punches here. Try and step forward and set up that takedown when he wants to hit it. Yeah, he's not being super active on the feet. No, no. He but needs to be more active if he wants to try and... It's a 15-minute fight. Justin is very good at closing that distance. Once again, Isaiah is taking it to the ground against Justin too. Wow. Yeah, he was able to secure that takedown. Not only that, he has a good position right now. He's in half guard. Very good position for him to be. And this is where these Fergusons thrive. <laughs> Isaiah's got that left hook. The right hook's not quite there yet. I'm going to tell you, Justin King is known for being notoriously tough to choke. That's what I have heard. He has a neck that's not easy to choke. Yeah, very difficult. You get under, you think, I got him. You usually don't have him when you're in that position. Yeah, he's doing a good job of fighting the hands right now. This is on the chin. It could still work. Yeah, now this is gonna get bad for Justin. This is about the worst spot he could be in. A minute 20 left. That is the thing I notice. it seems like Justin is hard to choke, but he just lets you hold him in that choke position where he continues to take a beating sometimes. Yeah, so even if he's not immediately losing the fight, he's still losing the round. Exactly. And he's doing a thing right now where he's trying to punch from that bottom position. I'm not a big fan of that. I think the first thing you should try and do is fight hands. Once again, we want to give a shout out to Hank and Jen. It's now, their anniversary, they're in Michigan. This is under the neck, I think. Justin able to slip out. Once again, Justin just really working on surviving here, not really working to get out very well. Isaiah doing a good job of trying to trap the arm with the leg. Very good. Um, difficult to do on Justin, though. He's very strong and very able to get out of stuff like this, it seems like. Yeah, so we saw Isaiah lose that left hook there. Justin starting to scoot his hips. Isaiah just real slick, putting his hand on the mat and, on the mat and scooting his butt right back. Great round there from both guys. Clearly, clearly the round for Ferguson right there. Yeah, and I think that's the round he wanted to have. You mentioned Justin King wrestled for IU, Big Ten. Mm -hmm. He wrestled with a Kentucky wrestling legend, Isaac Knabel, who's a coach at St. X, the owner of Invicta Wrestling Academy <laughs> in New Albany. Mm. Great place for kids, 
to learn how to wrestle and to do some good wrestling here locally. So there is a connection for Justin King. He's got to appreciate he didn't get booed when he was. When yeah, he was exactly. That's in. what I was saying. When you're going against a hometown hero, it's uh, I, I've been booed many times. It's like, hey, you don't even know me. What's going on here? <laughs> Whatever. Bring it on. Yeah, yeah. That is, sometimes it can motivate you. Yeah. It really does. Like, all right, I'm going to look forward to beating up your hometown boy. Yeah, you know, that's right. Boos don't win fights. I'm super impressed at not only Isaiah being able to get that takedown on Justin, and, but to be able to hold the position so well. Well, he, he, he set it up with his strikes. He, he had Justin backing up through a couple jabs. He was able to do that shot, had, had Justin back on his uh, – Backpedaling, it's gonna, it's, that's how you get a takedown against a good wrestler. Yeah, this Make is, them back up. That, that's high level technique and experience. Right good. there again, see how he knocked his leg out from under him? Justin doesn't seem like he knows where the punches and kicks are coming from. Good level change there from Justin. I'll be surprised if he's not able to finish this takedown. But Isaiah's doing a good job of pulling him up the waist. Yep, yep, perfect job. Here's that uh, Big Ten wrestling that we keep talking about. Yeah. And now Isaiah's going to start working on the neck. Once again, this is a position, like I said, very difficult to stop Ju uh, Justin King with, but the problem is he does let that dictate the pace of the fight. Yeah, and so Isaiah there sitting on his butt. Looked like he may have even got past for a moment. He goes to the neck, doesn't use it for a submission, but he uses it to get up and then use get his own position. What a fight. What what high level grappling. And Isaiah able to get one more takedown. He tried to get the lift there. But the hips of Justin were just too much. He came right up on the single leg trip. And once again, giving up his back. This is once again that's another thing you notice from a lot of wrestlers. They yeah. don't want to be on their back. They would much rather give up their back. A lot of time here. Oh, geez, got that body triangle again. I think we're going to be in this position for an awful long time. Yeah, three and a half minutes remaining in this round. So I think we're going to see here, is Justin King going to be able to defend chokes for three and a half minutes? The thing is, you'd think he would be able to more than just defend at work to get out of this position. I don't want to see him sit here for three minutes while – attempt to be in a choke that's uh, not good for anybody to watch in either, you know? Right, yeah. It's, it's not a great product, but it's great technique. Oh, yeah, for sure. Isaiah's two losses have been decisions to very high-level fighters. He would like to come out on top of a decision. He would like even more if he could get a finish. That looks deep underneath right there. Yeah, maybe not the right angle. I was going to say, it's amazing when you get just in these chokes how he can get out of them. Yeah, he's just moving his hips nonstop, able to slide right out. But like I said, he's definitely losing the fight in this position. You're not winning when a guy has your back putting in chokes all the time. How do you get your neck that resilient, Chris? What do you do? Ooh, I, I don't know if he does a lot of neck exercises, if he <laughs> just kind of had a naturally <laughs> My man's strong just neck. I don't know. Lifting weights. I, I, born with a strong neck. That, the, the, the bigger question to me is not how, you, how you stop from having a, how do you develop a good chin? Because I've always wondered mm. how people can stop from being knocked out. It seems like I don't think there is a good way because a lot of people are just always really, oh, good reversal there nice. by Justin. Yeah, Justin able to move the hips there. But Isaiah's in a great position here, this lockdown almost. Left foot on the hip, or excuse me, not lockdown, mission control. He switches off, full guard now for Isaiah. And Isaiah's got a great full guard. Well, Justin King has to do some work right here if he has to have any chance to win this round because even though not much damage was being done to him, he did have many chokes being applied to him. A lot of times the judges will count that, especially if you're on top and you're not doing anything, you're losing the fight. Yeah, 100%. Isaiah was controlling the position, throwing up the chokes. Justin needs to get busy here if he wants to win, win this round. Exactly. He's right now holding on. He needs to let go of this and start throwing some strikes. He 
and continuing to try to get the takedown. Yeah, I'm surprised that we haven't seen more elbows out of Isaiah. And see Justin King by continuing to do that, put himself in a bad position. Isaiah's getting ready to throw that knee to the body. About 30 seconds left here for these guys. Can Isaiah steal one more takedown and finish this round? I mean, I don't really think he needs to. I think he did yeah. enough to win. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think it's uh, two rounds and none right now. Justin King definitely needs to, and when he gets in position, he needs to try and land more punches. Uh, he's, he's not winning these rounds. Yeah, Justin needs to get busy. Isaiah needs to keep doing what he's doing, getting the back, taking the back, holding position. Got A.J. Jenkins in the corner, but the two in the cage with Isaiah are both of his brothers, both who have fought in the UFC. What are, what are the brothers, the Ferguson brothers telling Isaiah? Well, I think what I'd be telling him is you're doing a great job controlling the pace of the fight. Um, you need to keep holding position right there. Uh, don't fall into Justin King's game. Just hold out, you win the fight. Keep it up, look for the finish. Of course, you know, if you can get this choke, but uh, just main thing, you win, the, you win the fight right now. Don't do anything crazy. I'm re I'd really be telling Justin, you got to let it all, all hang out on your stand-up right now. Throw hard punches. Early in the third round, it looks like he is throwing a little bit more punches. We'll see if that continues. Second time tonight we've seen that Superman punch off the cage. Isaiah is a crafty fighter with his striking and his jiu-jitsu. Yeah, he's got – the jiu-jitsu is so good that it sometimes overshadows the striking of Isaiah. But don't think he doesn't have it. Isaiah's only lost twice once again. Controversial decision versus Manis. Yep. And then he lost a decision against Ken Beverly. I mean, there's yeah. no shame in that. That was a 145. He's down to 135 now. Isaiah Ferguson is a top prospect in the country. Yeah, his only two losses are decisions to two guys pushing the envelope for the UFC. So how, wh how many wins does he have now? Isaiah's sitting at eight and two, I believe. Eight and two, nice. 135, a very stacked weight class in the UFC right now. Oh, yeah. I don't know if anyone's going to be able to take on Henry Cejudo. Yeah, that's where right now you can see how tired Justin King is right there. He he needs to get more than a takedown, but what does he do? He dives in to try and get a takedown. Even if he hits yeah. that, that's not going to win him the fight. Yeah, you think maybe that good throw there from Justin. Yeah, once again, what does that really gain? I mean, he it, it, it might win him the round, but it's not going to win him the fight. He's going he to have to finish. Yeah, he's going to have to get crazy busy here yeah. while avoiding the attacks of Isaiah. Yeah. yeah. Isaiah able to use that arm drag position to pummel under left side underhook. Really crafty there from Isaiah. Now we got wrist control. Now he lets it go. And see, once again, Justin getting the takedown, but he's not really doing any damage right now. So do we think that that is, um, is it reflecting poorly on the fight IQ of Justin or just the conditioning? Um, no, I mean, I, I think Justin's been fighting long enough, and, and I hear his corner, you know, they're imploring him what to do, but. Easier said than done sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, Sometimes the, the, pay, the pace of fight is just exhausting. No matter what you oh, want yeah. to do, you're like, I'm tired out there. And they came out throwing the first minute of the fight. Yeah, and then, you know, even at the beginning of the third round, there was a lot, of, lot more punches for Justin being thrown than he had earlier. So. 
This is almost like a UFC fight from the early days where we see the wrestler versus the jiu-jitsu guy. Yeah. Yeah, but the jujitsu guy's gotten most of the takedowns. <laughs> well, even in here, here's where Isaiah's been good on the on the scrambles. You know, he's been yep. just in Tugan Band. He kind of scrambled around and coming back at him and, and got on top. And it says an insane amount about you to be able to out scramble a Big Ten wrestler. Well, and, and and I hear his corner right now saying what we're saying. Let him go. Stand up. Stand up. We got you. Got to knock him out. You got to knock him out. You got to go. And he listens. Good on him. But that's only half the battle. You're, 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 now you got to do it. Now you got to come back and start throwing some punches. Isaiah doing a good job with the head movement, fainting in and out. He was pulling out that telegraph kick of Justin. Doing the, did the really smart thing, too, by closing that gap. Yeah. He's taking away any chance Justin does have of landing that haymaker. You're not going to give him the Hail Mary opportunity if you continue to keep the fight really close. Isaiah got the knees collapsed here. Justin's going to get one more takedown. Wow. This is just so impressive from Isaiah to be able to do this. We'll see if Isaiah's Taking not able to get this once choke. Again. Yeah. Mission impossible. See if you can and choke just, Justin King. Justin a, gets to turn around. Looks like he gets back in position again. If I'm Isaiah right Who's here, I start him? ripping those elbows to the head. Man. Looks like uh, he heard it. May uh, have. I don't know if. <laughs> <laughs> Justin back Ooh. in position right here, but once again, it's like a little too little, too late. Isaiah trying to go for the triangle. Isaiah sneaking some elbows in from the bottom. Good hard fought, hard fought battle right there. Yeah, that was a good fight. Well, I see the judges already putting the putting their scores in. That didn't take them long. No. I'd say the only bad part about doing this job that we're doing right now is to sit here and look at the disappointment in the face of a fighter who that knows they probably lost or after they lose it. I've seen you make eye contact with a couple guys who lost tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Not to name anyone in particular, so I know what you're what you're feeling there. But yeah, it sucks. Chris, you've lost. Uh, I've lost probably more than everybody here combined. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, it never feels good. You know, people can try and find all these silver linings and different things. And uh, when I lose, I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to hear from you. You know, I want to, good job anyway. Shut up. Just yeah. leave me alone. You don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do a good job. I don't want to hear you lie and tell me I did a good job to make me feel good because you're making me feel worse. Leave me alone. Don't talk to me for a couple of days when we fought. I feel the same way. So, I mean, I want to run my head through a wall. Uh, people say, good job, it was a great fight anyways, or I've gotten fight of the night for fights that I've lost. Forget that trophy, man. I came second place in a two-man race. Yeah. I don't want it. Well, the only only saving grace was, you know, when I was in the UFC and you get the fight of the night bonus. You know? Yeah, like, okay, that 50,000. 50,000. <laughs> how, many, how many of those did you get? Well, I got, I was able to win six fight of the nights. I didn't lose all those wow. fights, but when I did lose one, it was good to get a, like a 50,000. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> like, I'm okay, sure. I'm not happy, but I'm a little less not happy, you know? Your wife's happy. Chris yeah. Lytle's sitting at $300,000 <laughs> in bonuses alone. That's a good job. And that was that was five of the nights. I also won yeah. sub of the night, a couple of those knockouts. And... But there was different amounts of bonuses at the beginning. I remember some were less, some were more than that. So, you, I don't know. All I'm honestly surprised they gave Justin one of the rounds. They all three did. Well, I, I thought I was very interested to see how they scored that last yeah. round. Um, you know, Justin did end up on top a few times, but like I said, he didn't throw much when he did. I, I would like to see him be a little bit more active. But.
Earmuffs. I thought that Isaiah was already a black belt, so I feel stupid. <laughs> Gets his black belt from his brother. How about that? That's uh, We just witnessed a life moment from Isaiah. Ferguson trains jiu-jitsu at Louisville Combat Academy. They are working on their 10th Planet affiliation. AJ nice. Jenkins and Holly Jenkins own Louisville Combat Academy. They're on 10105 Dixie Highway. If you're at